House of Code is a creation of the Congressional App Challenge. It's an opportunity for students like you to demonstrate the amazing work that you're being honored for in front of Congress within the Capitol. You are going to be our superheroes, not just of the future, but you are the superheroes of the present. And I want you to embrace it and love it and recognize your power. But then look at who's in front of you and who's behind you. These are other young people your age. You get to be part of an incredible cadre of individuals who come out here. I guarantee, for several of you, you'll have the opportunity to run into each other again. I hope that you take this as a first chapter in your life to get to start the networking that is going to echo throughout the entire volume of your life. For every product that I've ever worked on, uh, the thing that I take most with me is the feeling of accomplishment of having been a part of a team. Uh, you know, on Direct File, I lead a team of 75 passionate, eccentric weirdos, and uh, they have brilliant ideas, and they disagree with me, and we've been through tough times together, and we've celebrated together. And and uh, we share the same mission, and I'm so happy that many of your apps are collaborations. I hope that you were, uh, that they brought you closer together as friends. Well, hello everyone, welcome back uh, to the US Capitol here at the Congressional App Challenge. I'm Aaron Wolfer, can I get some names? I'm Kennedy Stewart. I'm Kennedy Jefferson. And I'm Alan G. Awesome, nice to meet you guys. Where are y'all from? We're from, we're from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, all right. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what your app, what it does? Our app is designed to revolutionize waste management to promote people to recycle. So it's based off an AI engine and that's able to detect types of metals, plastics, cardboards, and tell you where to recycle them. That's awesome. Oh, well, what's the name of the app? Uh, Eco Trace. Uh, Eco Choice? Eco Trace. Eco Trace. There we go. Awesome. That's really cool. So uh, how did you get this inspiration? You know, where, where did you think to start looking at recycling? Um, for me, well, first we, we didn't really think it was possible because of a lot of image recognition technology. So a lot of our generation is kind of spiteful of how we inherited the earth. And most people are pessimistic about what we should do about it. And most people are like, let it burn. But I was like, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so we decided we, we would find a way to make it easier for people who wanted to recycle, people who want to do better but don't know how. You tell me how you learned about the Congressional App Challenge and how this group formed. Well, uh, I can answer this. There was something that we started off last year where we we had like a team of four kids trying to also compete for this uh, thing. We heard about it through a senior friend who now is like at a different college. But we this was just a continuation project about trying again and getting a better product out. Yeah. Well, so that's amazing to hear that you know, you're kind of coming back to revamp what was set before. What is the name of your app? And give me a 30 second overview of its functionality. All right, so our app is GeoBlend. GeoBlend is an AI powered virtual tour guide that guides a user through any place that either they're familiar with or aren't familiar with and highlights key points of interest, giving an AI tour guide speech while they walk around automatically so that people can learn and kind of have a personalized history and learn all about the place that they're exploring. So the idea was even in a big city like Jacksonville, a lot of people that we knew didn't even really know a lot about their history, even if they'd been there for like 10, 20 years. So we wanted to make something that was super seamless and work really easily. So where if you're kind of just walking around a place that you've never been, it'll give you all the history. You don't have to look around. You don't have to search things up. It's just all there for you. Leaders have recognized this hope that you're going to go on to do great things with this current app and in the future. Creating an app is something that means that you recognize what other people need to, and that there's a wide-scale impact that a solution can make. So keep in mind that wide-scale impact and think about how you can take on some of the biggest challenges throughout our country. Lyle, do you want to help? Yeah, so our app um, is a way you can find volunteer opportunities and protests in your area based on like what you're interested in, whether you want to do like climate justice or work at a soup kitchen and, and work towards like zero hunger. And all of our volunteer opportunities are based on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So it's sort of local impact but big goals. This amazing technology has now been made available to billions of people, largely for free. So the same amazing large language model you get to use, whether it's Google's Gemini or, or Microsoft's Bing or ChatGPT, 
the person in Nairobi does too, or in Beijing, or in South Africa, or in Australia. Bill Gates did remarkable things. Uh, he also had access to a supercomputer growing up. Not a lot of people had that kind of access. But now you're in a world where you are competing with billions of people that have the same access to the same amazing tools that you have. You will sometimes try and you will fail. But science is about iteration and trying over and over again.